Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, we have a dev channel build that was rolled out late last week. So, a quick overview as to what's happening in build 26120.2130, which rolled out to the dev channel insiders with the update KB50444000. Now, first of all, um, a small little change which is rolling out across the board in the insider program, which obviously will make its way because of that to the stable version soon is the all apps is now just all on the start menu so in the dev channel all apps is just all microsoft making that change for whatever reason and then they are beginning to roll out a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in windows 11 that supports the ability to use your xbox controller to navigate and type which microsoft says includes button accelerators like X button for backspace, Y button for spacebar, and over and above that, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. And this is something that's rolling out across the board. So um, if you are using this feature, then that would be a step forward, as I would say. And then Narrator has received two improvements, and these are exactly the same that rolled out for the beta channel. But just to mention them for this video, they've added a new shortcut Narrator key and control and x to copy what narrator last spoke to clipboard so that's narrator key plus control plus x to copy um what the actual feature last spoke to clipboard it follows the pattern microsoft says of using narrator key plus x which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud and is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts they also say that you can use these shortcuts to review and copy what narrator spoke uh, useful in cases you want to quickly copy some content of descriptions or codes and or numbers for use so that's a the first narrator improvement that's rolled out and then the next one is um narrator will now auto read contents of a mail in the new outlook app similar to behavior in the outlook classic so those are, those are two narrator improvements that have rolled out to the beta channel and also the dev channel uh, for those updates for last week now there's a networking improvement which I'm just going to mention and if you use the NetSH um, wireless LAN show networks command uh, you should be able to read SSRDs that are UTF-8 encoded. Microsoft says this means that Wi-Fi SSRDs with Unicode characters like emojis as an example should be properly displayed in NetSH output so that's a nice little networking improvement uh, if you are using that feature. Now, there are a couple of fixes that have rolled out because obviously we are early days in the dev channel. So we get a, um, a taskbar fix. We get three narrator fixes. So a lot of attention last week on narrator, live captions, and then obviously we get some known issues. But just two fixes I want to bring your attention to. They fixed an issue for a small number of insiders after the latest builds where unlocking the actual PC after waking the PC from sleep, the logging screen contents would load wouldn't load and you couldn't sign back in so that's quite an important fix if you are in the dev channel and then here's a very important fix that's going to be rolling out and this is actually a clipboard issue that a lot of users are experiencing over on windows 11 24h2 which has rolled out to the stable version where microsoft say they fixed an underlying issue which could lead to clipboard history not displaying items you'd copied and that is actually a um, a bug in 24H2 where a lot of users have got onto Microsoft's Feedback Hub and have been obviously complaining about this where um, the, the clipboard history, when you copy something, it's not being displayed in the clipboard. So that's a small yet an important fix because that is a little niggly issue that is impacting quite a few users who have upgraded to Windows 11 24H2 in the stable channel. So that's a nice one to see. So hopefully that will roll out sooner than later to the stable version. And that's more or less what's new in last week's Dev Channel Flight 26120.2130. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.